people are practicing downstairs. Your home dentistry. Oh my god. Home, de home dentistry. David, David does home dentistry now. That's his yeah. new thing. Yeah. His new thing is home dentistry. So that's, the, so that's what they're all doing downstairs. That's what all the noise is about. And uh, Adam's Adam's disappeared into the darkness. And we're live, by the way, Adam. So you know he you can turn care. your light on. Oh, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Oh, are we? Hello, we guys. Started, How are you doing? Started the show. We haven't really technically started the show. This is the warm up to the show, and then on the cigar show, they're all like, "Oh, after the show ends, keep keep it running," because everybody wants to hear what we say after the show. And I'm like, "No, you really don't." <laughs> so, so we always start the shows like this a little bit, like a teaser before we actually hit the intro clip. So, is that, today we're going to speak about whatever Adam wants to speak about, which is whatever comes to mind. That's what he told us. So. Yeah. That's what we're doing. That's so our, that's I will speak today. about vibrators. Good. And before that, let's do this. For men. This is 2OF Entertainment. back vibrators for men that, really that's interesting let's talk about that <laughs> for straight men right oh well, that's <laughs> even weirder so this is so. for you and this is for you <laughs> uh. okay no because we don't want to make any advertisement so, no this it. those are because i switched again to electronic cigars i i tried to quit the normal ones Gotcha, gotcha. Because I got sick. That's why I look like shit. I went to Athens and I got sick. I thought that I, that I got COVID because I never got COVID, actually. I don't want to. You got COVID because you were in Athens. No, no, no. I didn't get COVID. I made the test, but I didn't. It was just, oh. uh, just, just from the cigarettes, drinking. to be honest. Uh, drinking uh, okay. and cigarettes, yeah. That's yeah. it. That's what happened. Not cigars, just cigarettes. And one See, if you night smoke cigars, was... you don't get sick. That's yeah, because that's how many thing. cigars you can smoke? In but cigars, you can smoke a lot. Yeah, you can smoke how a lot of cigars, cigars in a day. You talk to Riza and Riza and me. You, uh, we literally, between the three of us in a day, could have thirty cigars. Yeah, but you don't swallow to the to the lungs, do you? Well, that's a girl's job. Um, but, uh, <laughs> to the lungs, <laughs> to the swallow, so to yeah, the stuff, the stomach, swallow, to the lungs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, cigars you just put in your well, mouth. Well, uh, come on, smoke, girls, this is for you, so don't talk. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's that would be. <laughs> that would that's, change that's, everything. That is a wish come true. You know, for Hanukkah, that's what I wish this year that they none of them would talk. But uh, I don't think I'm going to get it. So, <laughs> oh, no. But um, yeah. I mean, cigars. You don't inhale the smoke. You, you inhale. You, yeah. you flavor the smoke and then you blow it out. Not like a cigarette where you put it in your lungs and you make smoke things through your nose. It's a whole thing. So you don't Cigar take any drugs from it. No. Cigars. So why do you do it? To, why do you do it's, it? It's relaxing. It's old world, old school. Well, if you want to relax, just open like a grass or something. No, I don't, I've never done a drug in my life. The only never? Drug I do is what? Uh, you mean the, uh, alcohol never. is a drug? No, it's not. N alcohol. Nicotine. Oh, excuse me. Of course excuse it's a drug, me. but it's a legal one. <laughs> Scotch. Scotch is not a drug. It is a food group. So let's yeah. get that straight. <laughs> and, just like, and cigar, because of the nicotine, there is a... Marijuana um, is a, not a drug also. That's what, just... Which isn't it? Marijuana? Marijuana, it's like, listen, here's what's really funny. At the end of the day, I, in, I, I've i never been... I have had friends who have smoked pot their whole lives. And I just... It does nothing for me. We did a deal many years ago, 2016, I think it was, um, with a cannabis company in Oregon. And I remember going to the lab and this lab was, you would think you were in Intel. This was a 10,000, 30,000 square foot building. The guys that were doing um, the cannabis and the THC and whatever, making the edible, were all like graduates of MIT with PhDs in molecular, molecular biology. And it was, it was fascinating to hear you can make different strands. I mean, I learned a whole bunch 
but I still, it's not my thing. I'm just a cigar and scotch guy. I'm just a very old school. Guy. It's okay. I know a lot Nobody of is pushing you towards drugs. <laughs> no, I'm not. I've never, I could never, like, if you okay like. never interest me. Because with this nose, I could go But back. Mr. Anagram, you see, he, he's not even talking because he, he's in Holland. He's always on drugs. It's not. Yeah, well, he used to, you know, used to be a big, he'll tell you. He used to, I think if I'm not mistaken, David, you can click in whenever you want. We just didn't want to hear your dentist. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've, 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 I've I've zoned out because of that dentistry downstairs. Yeah. Didn't you smoke pot at one point? <laughs> um, well, if you take a point between 16 and 60, yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. So and any, one, any one of the points between. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I smoked probably, you know, a couple of joints a day, maybe two or three joints a day. So I don't know. That's a lot. But uh, in, in, in Holland, in, in Netherlands? Everywhere. Everywhere, <laughs> Everywhere, airport, toilet, in the mall. Uh, no, 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 I don't mean everywhere. Uh, but it's like every everywhere country, I go, everywhere I live. Every country in the UK, I smoked in Greece. Smoked in, yeah. But in UK, it's still illegal, no? Yeah, yeah, it's illegal in Holland as well. Really? It's, it's, it's never been legalized here. It's been decriminalized, but it's still illegal. Okay, so which country is so you, so you have legalized? To Canada? Uh, Portugal, I think, is the only one. They've so legalized or, or Czech Republic. In Czech Republic. I thought the UK, I thought the UK legalized it and in Germany they legalized it. Oh, no, no, no. In Germany they're it. thinking about it. Okay. Uh, or something they, like that. Oh, no. no they, they're they're kind of, yeah, they're, they're kind of decriminalized also, I think. Yeah, they've decriminalized it, and, but you can only purchase it for, you have to be a member of a cannabis club. Um, okay, so. And okay. then you could, once you're a technically member of the club, you can purchase cannabis from that. But we can grow up to five plants here in your garden for personal use. Other than okay. five, you know, that's, that's considered. Five, be, five plants? You, uh, yeah, that you're in business. Yeah. Not a per year. It's just you have to have five plants. But if there are big plants? Well, I don't, you don't, you don't, only like the forest, plants. Big forest of five pl plants. Yeah, it's fine. You know, you just get, well, if you keep if you trim them properly, they'll grow nice and strong and get nice big buds on them. And then you dry them out slowly, and then uh, you know you do whatever you want to do with them. You know, make make uh, you know, hash brownies or you know or make tea, anything you like. Tea? Or I didn't know you can make tea with cannabis. That's yeah, pretty yeah. cool. Look what I'm learning today on the show. That I'm drink it because not everybody <laughs> not everybody likes smoking. Yeah, and I'd stopped. I'd really stopped because the smoking was was getting too much for me. Yeah. So, but so now, now, now there are some devices. I, I had one no, like no. pipes no. that you actually don't uh, don't use fire, but you, it's, it's warming it somehow, and you can yeah. only use only grass there, not yeah. cigarettes. So this, yeah. I, when I smoke, I I mix it with normal tobacco. Like no, I never did that. I I, I smoke. I was smoke cigarettes as well. I think up till I was about twenty three, something like that. Um, and then I stopped because I came home one night from a party, and we'd been smoking all night, and you know, I just didn't have a voice or anything. I felt like crap. Yeah, but, this was. I, I, I only, I only Athens, I ever not, smoked not what what they call eye tail spliffs, and it would just be pure pure weed. Mm. And just just enough for myself, just a little one skinner, and then uh, that would be like like Steve cigar moment. That would be, you know, on the balcony somewhere, somewhere, somewhere pleasant, just sit and smoke, and uh, reflect. Uh, you know, just contemplate my navel, as they say. <laughs> yeah, cigars are easy. You, just, you can order them online. You can go to a tobaccoist or a chemist uh, and get cigars. Is, smoke with your mates. Steve, just, C get, cigars are just a show off. You don't I, inhale uh, nicotine. You don't just just you have. Oh, a I mean, the nicotine still comes I into your blood. I tell you, it's like it's, it's it still comes into have... your blood. It, the nicotine still comes <laughs> into your blood, but it's just it's not like you're not inhaling the smoke, and it's just pure yeah. tobacco. Where cigarettes are just chemicals and stuff that's chopped up. A tobacco leaf is just a dried leaf that's rolled. Yeah. So yeah, I was talking this... a little healthier. I was talking to a lady last night. She was saying, "Yeah, I'm up smoking." And um, yeah, because I have all these sore throats and everything. She said, "Yeah, it's all tobacco." I said, "It's not the tobacco; it's the crap they put in. You know, the salt yeah. and everything they put in to to keep the thing burning. Because uh, that's the thing about if you smoke a joint, it will go out. 
And that's why people, I don't know why people put tobacco in a joint. I mean, why, why would you want to do that? You know, maybe because, I mean, when I started smoking, it was mostly hash anyway. So we'd, we'd, get, we'd put that in a pipe um, and smoke that. But yeah, people like to have uh, a prolonged thing. But I mean, if you just have a joint, it'll go out. The weed will go out. It doesn't burn through. No, oh, wow. I didn't know that. This is very cool. So this whole show is going to be about cannabis today. That'll be cool. We no, no, we'll no. We're going to talk okay. about other well, things. Actually, well, that's enough about yeah. those. It's uh, yeah, we're it not okay. promoting any drugs or anything. Right. Guys, don't do yeah, drugs. Right. And, right. Don't, don't do So kids, if you're watching, don't do no, drugs. No, don't do drugs. Yeah, don't you do can do better terrible. things than drugs. You can do, that's make, right, do sex, right. maybe. or uh, Yeah, with, uh, you can pay Play a game. Yeah, you can play the game. Learn a skill. Game AI artists. Whatever you do, you know, do it in a safe environment and do it with good yeah. people. That's right. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because all these stories here about, you know, like all this skunk and they so, uh, you know, you get halluc halluc uh, it's an hallucinogenic. Oh, when they do the ayahuasca. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah of course, because it, are... because uh, traditionally the shamans would, would, would use. Well, I that's mean, how they the, saw, they saw the future. The high yeah, I mean, sure. like, uh, like we always have uh, you know, the uh, Hollywood movies. Oh, they're gonna go smoke the peace pipe. What do you think was in that? You know, dead settlers, yeah, dead settlers, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dead, dead settlers, tone. <laughs> dead settlers, toenails. That's what it was. There you go, the pilgrims are in. So, that, let's I'm talk sure. now about the hard drugs. Did you mm. watch, did you see here about the uh, banana tape artwork, which is called yes. Comedian? Yeah, six did you, million. Did you hear how? Yeah, yeah, more than six yeah, million. million. They were the expecting gonna, one and, and a half. And the guy's going to eat it, he said, because he's he's whatever. And I'm thinking to myself, this is the problem when you didn't really make your money. He made it. He was he made it in crypto. So it's like he didn't really work for it. He just got lucky. This is what happens when stupid people get lucky. They but, buy a banana for six million dollars. Uh, you think that he made something stupid? <laughs> No, he made no, we money. think guy we think you know i i see all the x and everything that you're making fun of it and etc etc mm -hmm. people you just don't know what's going on behind it first of all art right now is the best way to laundry money you know yeah no, no, i got that. it was bought in crypto because yeah. he's got a is, company on crypto i think yeah the, the thing is of course that it wasn't the banana wasn't worth six million dollars it was the it was the uh the certificate no, it was the gaffer tape. It was, you know, the, what do they call it? Uh, I don't know what they call it in the US, but, you know, the gray tape. That's, that's, duct that's tape. To the, wall. the duct tape, tape is made that's, from, the duct tape is made from diamonds. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what was worth six million. So, um, and, and, you know, when it came out first time, it, it had three editions because I was following it because right. uh, this is, this is an artwork from a guy called Mauricio Catalan. Sure, it's easy and, for you to say. He's he's a blue chip uh, artist. That means that it's okay. an expensive artist, very famous artist. And if he's an absurdist, he's doing crazy stuff in general. Right. But he's got really great works. And uh, there was a time in 2015, I think, when uh, some artists were called from New York Times magazine, and uh, mm -hmm. we were to participate in a theme. It was like global, something about global, global catastrophe, what's coming in the future or something like that. And there were four artworks chosen and one of them, mm -hmm. it was me and, and Catalan. Oh, wow. So that, oh, that wow. was the closer I get, I got to him. We were together in, mm -hmm. in the edition when, when the New York Times magazine changed its uh, design and everything. So we were there. And uh, but but I knew knew him even before. He's very famous. So in fact, you know, uh, uh, being famous and uh, popularity is a is a coin now. Is um, you can get money from it. Now look what else you can do also when you when you have a plan because it, uh, those things, you know, they're not by luck. You don't give six millions like that for a tape and banana. You know. Right. And by the way, the, the first three editions they were sold for um, hundred fifty thousand dollars. The three the banana edition. There yeah. were other editions. There were three. Listen, there were three editions. Bought, yeah. just, just so we know, I just went to the supermarket on Saturday and I bought a hand of bananas, mm -hmm. and I've duct taped them all over my house. And uh, but no your name is Ma anybody. not Mauricio Catalan, and you're we're not working with uh, Gallery Perotin, which is one of the most famous. Uh, okay, so uh, basically, what you're and in general, you know. Yeah. 
well, you have money to laundry, or you have, or or something else. I'll tell you something else. Yeah, when yeah. you know that you are going to buy an artwork for six million, that mm -hmm. immediately makes all the artworks of the ar artist going up. So if you have other artworks from him, for example, then you are making those artworks to go higher. Okay. Anyway, because of this artwork, it it happens all the time. Right. So if this guy has got already 10 artworks from this uh, artist and buys the banana, banana. tape, which, which is really good because, you know why? Because it goes viral. It went viral at that, uh, that time and it's going viral right now. Mm -hmm. And people, you know, uh, the most people, are, if this is art or not art, while people are talking if this is art or not art, some people are making money, <laughs> just making mm -hmm. money, a lot of money. from. It. And you think that, oh, she pays 6 million. He could uh, earn double from from this. It depends on how you play it, you know. Uh, let me let me ask you this question though, because you said something earlier. So let me say launder money. So are we saying that a lot of artwork now is bought and sold for laundering of money? A lot of money is is happening. And also, you know, uh, if you buy artworks, many mm -hmm. countries have got um, tax policy that reduces your taxes. If you oh. offer, for example, an artwork somewhere, or if you, if I offer to charity and artwork, right. I have a uh, tax. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, uh, we, we do that here. But I mean, you can also donate it to a museum, so to speak, and it gives you a write off for the price. Of yeah, the yeah, yeah. There are a lot of uh, laws. It depends yeah. on the country. I don't know. But right. when when crypto is involved also yeah. and you see something strange, yeah. then be, 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 you know, suspicious. So that's, that's my look. I don't know anything. Right, it's right. my point of view. I'm not accusing anybody. I just. I'm just saying. Well, let's just but, accuse uh, them for fun and see what happens. Like, <laughs> yeah, but but even if it if it's not true, even if it's not true, what I'm saying and anything. Yeah, yeah. Look, he might sell this artwork in three years. That's what they do in three he can't three sell years. Anymore. It's done. Ten. He can't. He, can't. Well, he has the. It's it's the it's the certificate. It doesn't matter. He still ate it. The guy ate the banana. The well, uh, there was. It's not the first time that it was eaten. There was. One time it was this artwork was shown somewhere in an exhibition. Yeah. And uh, a student came, I think Korea student, something like that, an Asian one. And he came, he took the banana, uh, people, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that was nobody our, that nobody was our, accused that was our, it that was because you know that was our basil in Miami a few years ago. The guy who had a banana yeah. on the wall and the yeah, guy yeah, ate that, it. The guy's that, like, that, You ate a hundred and fifty thousand dollars piece of art, and you're like, it's a banana. No, so that's the thing. Each time that everything is that, that something happens with this artwork, it goes viral. Yeah. That's so basically that's it's all a scam. It's a scam. I got it. No, it goes not like a real piece of is art. it popular? Is, are people talking about it? Are we talking about it? Yes, it's popular. I then it, yeah. Will will you will you die for a year? Because well, I've got a piece of your art on the wall, and I mean that's gonna go through the roof. If you're dead for a year, you know, it, it, to go up. Yeah. It doesn't work yeah. this way anymore. I mean it's like no. Douglas Adams said, you know, like take a year off for tax reasons, uh, you know, a year off dead for tax reasons. So um, if you do that, then the, my art will go up. So um, well, sorry for when you. When I die, I'll yeah. die for good. So. Oh, oh, my God. Okay. Right. And okay. the, you're not going to be rich because of me dead. You want me alive oh. to, to be, because I haven't got into that point okay. uh, where to be considered a blue chip or something like that. We but, consider you a blue chip. Look, I have you behind. Well, I'm me. all the yeah. colors. I'm oh. I'm rainbow chip. And like, no, this is blue. So you're a blue chip. Oh ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's blue. Right there. So there you go. Well, this look for all the for all the people who are who are, are just as stupid as I am. What do you actually mean by blue chip artist? The artists that are very expensive, that they sell for very high prices. That very popular artists. <laughs> and do they call them high demand? That? Do they call they themselves what? that or? Do they call themselves a blue chip artist? No, or, no, no. Or, the, the, the market or, or calls this, them. The market calls them that. Yeah. Uh, or certain certain galleries in particular, or. Well, there are certain galleries which work only with the blue chips. That means that only with expensive artists, and I don't know them artists. because I haven't. But uh, I know uh, because uh, I've seen an, a documentary about it, mm -hmm. and there are galleries which don't have prices, but they know the. Um, they know the um, the clients, you know, how mm -hmm. how high they could go, what's their net worth or something like right. that. So one comes and they ask, okay, I like this. How much? Oh, it's 300,000. Okay. 
another one comes billion for you one right. and a half million for you you know happens right. something like that a billion look, dollars with no look, price tag. Uh, what I want to tell to the yeah. people who are interested in art and are saying, oh, wh where are we going? Because I've seen a lot of posts and uh, they are showing, you know, pictures of David, mm -hmm. you know, the David of uh, right Renaissance. There. there he is, right there. <laughs> David's right you know, there. the older uh, David, you know, oh, the, the big one. David. Okay, okay. okay Galangelo yeah. David. Okay, okay. And, uh, and they say, and then they show all, oh, you great. know, uh, uh 15 uh, 16th uh, century and right. uh, some other and and now uh, 2024 uh, uh, banana and what happened and i say <laughs> to them look not every artwork at that time was david by right. michelangelo it was only one michelangelo right. and not every artwork is banana duck uh, uh, with the tape yeah. uh, there are a lot of i mean we are in a time where yeah. there is more artworks that ever created and i mean at the moment that we're living there are more artists than ever have been and more sure, art, digital. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah digital and everything now I'm, everybody can be you go yeah. and make an eye and you're official an artist you create an i, I think what we'll have it. to do yeah. Stephen, is we'll have to ask um rusty to paint us with bananas and then we've covered oh, yeah. Yeah, that could be good you know because be because you and i you and i are a metamorphosis of you know the creation of david slash the creation of stephen Right. Uh, that that world famous painting, which is behind the you. creation of Stephen by David. Yeah, and the and the and the, infam <laughs> the, imp the infamous sweatshirt, you know, fam yes. famous throughout Texas. And uh, so we'll have to ask Rusty to get us with some duct tape and uh, and banana and a banana, and then we'll cover right. all, all the bases will be covered then. There you go. Oh, or, well, or we just call ourselves the the, the blue chips. They're done with it. Blue chips. There you go. Green blue. Green blue. So you know it's really interesting. I've been collecting art for all since I was a kid, um, and but not for making profit. No, and I have stuff that I've made profit from, but I I collect. Good. And my a friend of our family's when I was a kid said to me, "You should only collect what you like." He said because if it doesn't go up, then you know, like all these people are buying art. You're gonna stick with. Be so so, but I have masterpieces, so to speak, that I bought, and I'm like. I like them and it's like i don't want to part i just i like them for what they are so i'm very comfortable with my art collection um because i buy things that i like and i think that's important and i think that's the most important thing i'm not buying it as an investment i'm buying it to enjoy so when i look at it i go ah oh. i'm not going oh i spent a hundred grand and now it's worth 300 grand i'm like yeah i like it i bought it because i liked it i didn't buy it for it to go up i don't care so I well, think that's every much. every collector is saying this anyway. I mean, yeah, I the do. one who bought bought this, it's a conceptual art. To be honest, look, because yeah. I, I've talked about this art and they are making mm -hmm. fun of it. And I say, look, the artist is great. Mm -hmm. He's really great absurdist. Absurdism is not something new. It has been mm -hmm. 100 years ago. And uh, uh, But uh, this one, it actually shows the abs ab absurdity of the art market. Art market now has nothing to do mm -hmm. with uh, art world in a way that means that the good artworks what does it mean a good artwork you know and uh -huh. uh, there is only one now uh sign to, to tell you if it's expensive right or but if it's popular you, by people you know those two but here's something interesting about 20 years ago there's a guy an artist at art basel once again in miami who defecated in a can and they sealed the can and he sold that as a piece of art someone bought it i think for a couple hundred grand what was in the I'm can? Like, poop. He pooped. Yeah, that was can. 60s, I think. No, no. That was in the in 90s. The guy did it, and he did it for Art Basel. I so. think it was maybe maybe it was yeah. the same artwork that was... Uh... Maybe they resold it because, you know, how much... <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, poop is poop. It's 61. But, saying, but I think there was another guy who did it again in the 90s. Or in the well, 2000s. Maybe, I don't know, but it's yeah. called Artist Shit. Yeah. Italian, 161. Piero Manzoni, and yeah. it's a merda d'artista, and he yeah. made 70 of them, of those, 90, wow. 90. Wow, he had a lot of poop. And look, uh, in 16, yeah. this one sold for uh, 275,000 euros. Oh my God, that's crazy. So there are 90 of those. Well, is it, is it, 
Is that crazy? I mean, I mean, really? I mean, some of the things that Adam was saying about. Oh, no, I will tell you what is crazy, it's and it's. Yeah, I mean, it's I will tell you what is crazy. I read it two days ago or something like yeah. that. Many people uh, now we're we're going to our favorite uh, talk a little uh, politics and Trump. Yeah, uh, uh, I I read that uh, a lot of people follow Trump because he's sure. you know conservative and about the family uh, values question. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, sure. I think he appointed uh, a minister of economics, a guy who is gay, who is married to a man. Uh, normally, they have uh, they've been married. And they have adopted a child. Are you well, talking about this the treasury? The guy who's in charge? Yeah, of yeah, in treasury. Well, for me, this was crazy. I don't know. I, 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 I he's becoming more woke than. <laughs> I'm gonna say, if that's the case, then he's gonna be very woke. <laughs> I, for me, I found that that crazy, because yeah, I, I think he, uh, Trump is trolling everybody. That's what he's doing. All right. First of all, the guy that he did for treasury, his guy is named Scott Bassett to the treasury role. Um, I don't know if Scott, you're saying, so Scott's gay. Let's look and see if Scott's gay. Uh, let's see who Scott's married to. I didn't know that. I didn't realize. Um, Scott Pissett, ugh, Scott Pissett husband. I guess he is gay. There you go. Scott yeah, Pissett he's married is, and they have adopted John, a child. I which see that. I'm, looking, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the story right now. John, who is, his husband is John Freeman. Um, and, and they adopted a child and that's all it says. Very cool. Well, congratulations to Donnie for actually, uh, you know, getting up with the 22nd century, but John, but Don, I give Donnie credit here. He's not a woke guy. He's like, I am, he's an old school guy. You get, you know, you bring the best people in. So I give well, him I don't know. Most of the people that I know that follow and like Trump here in Greece, yeah. they yeah. are totally, you know, against, uh, not even, not adapting for gay uh, couples uh, adopting children, mm -hmm. but not marriage. I don't want to even know what they're doing or everything. Else. I mean, I'm at this kind of level on this thing. So, Which is crazy, uh, really. Because, uh, yeah, it's you know, crazy. Wait, 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 wait because the, yeah, uh, I mean, so Greeks, Greeks, I mean, Greeks started kind of it all. Yeah, they made an art you know, form out of it. So. They made, not only an art form, but if you if you couldn't you, to go to the Olympics, you had to be a man and you had a they would do the olympics naked when it all started back in the hey day. guys did i tell you about my dna uh, results or not yet no we I haven't said, gotten there yet we're going to so talk about we DNA will talk now. about it because uh, david is saying about greeks well yeah. you know i'm supposed to be greek and polish well greece us. is very low in my uh, dna test and yeah. polish is almost not even showing there yeah, so right. yeah he's an american watch he's so an american. look no i'm not american i'm european 100 percent Okay. And the results were like 75% Balkan. Okay. But uh, the highest percentage is Bulgaria. Wow. Yeah, Bulgarian. So and uh, the medium is uh, Serbian and Croatia. That explains a lot. And low is Greece in yeah. this uh, region. 20% yeah. uh, Baltic states. It's because okay. of Lithuania. I, have, uh, I had a grandfather, which I never met. He was okay. from Lithuania. He was a Soviet Union soldier at the time. He went, he was going to Berlin and he stayed in the places where I was born. Well, I was born in all German places. It was given to Poland after the war. Sure. And, uh, and all the, the people that were living, the Polish guys, they came actually from Ukraine. Okay. Ukraine. When, when, uh, when, so they moved from there, they moved to the uh, West, mm -hmm. uh, there in the ex-German and I got also, this is crazy, I didn't know about that because the mm -hmm. other, I could kind of uh, think. Uh, I have 5% uh, Celt, Celt, uh, Irish, Scottish, Celtic. and Wales. Really? Yeah, I don't know where from, but there was a guy, for, but 5% might be even more than one guy. <laughs> I mean, hey, you're, you're someone who was a traveling salesman in the family there. I see that. That's nice. I, I think it's more connected to the Baltic uh, states okay. there yeah. than in uh, Balkans. Sea trade, yeah. yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Because yeah. Celts, the Celts did, uh, I mean, they, did, they traded a lot with the Vikings. Yeah. And uh, they traveled well, I, up and down. Exactly. So, so it cousin. created, look, I had two countries, now I have five. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm European, 100%. When, if there's a war, you all know who to side with. 
Uh, I'm with bees, actually. Okay. But okay. Well, just so you know, my cousin uh, well, did a DNA test, and we found out that um, in the family tree, he was in the fruit section. So we were very excited for him. So yeah. So that was it. Yeah. That's but I'm here till Thursday. He's gay. Never mind. Go ahead. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a that's yeah, a. Talk, he, listen, listen, he went to London and found out Big Ben was a clock. He was very upset. Anyway, yeah. um, you know. But all, all, all the two famous Scotsmen, you know, Ben Dover and Phil McCavity. Those ones. There you go. Yeah. So there you have it. That's very cool, Adam. So you're like a Heinz fifty-seven. You're like yeah, a little it's bit just older. A, a, he's a, a an East European mongrel. Wow. Yeah, but I was, uh, you know, I was thinking I'm a Slav from the north, but actually I'm yeah. Slav from the south. <laughs> that, that's the crazy stuff. You know, it doesn't change anything in you. I am 100% it does for, it does for me. It, Greek. Yeah. That's my cultural, me. you know, background. But uh, it makes stories. It's what I always say. It makes stories in your head because mm -hmm. you start to think about your ancestors. Yeah? And mm. you think, oh, about You're those dead. guys who were living there in Bulgaria, the Thrace. Yeah. Because we're coming from the Thrace and Thrace in general, Balkans, because of uh, the Turkish also 400 years of uh, occupation, the Ottomans, right. they're kind of very mixed stuff there all over. You know, they are in the same village, there are Greeks, uh, Turks, uh, Bulgarians, the right. more, North Macedonians, Slavs, are also, and Albanians. And uh, we, there were so many wars here, you know, and there are still people, if you go to Facebook and you look at some nationalists there, they are like, you know, against each other all the time. And uh, I don't know why people like, oh, yeah. we have better army, we are going to do this, we're going to do that. And what for? And of course, I mean, and running, play a game running, better. Through, running through all of that, right through to Afghanistan, of course, was uh, good old Alexander the Great. Yeah, who, who took his army mm -hmm. and seeded his way through? Uh, you see, a guy who died at the age of thirty-four. The great was actually bisexual, so I don't know. I don't know how much seeding no, he no. really did. No, I said Alexander. Army. Alexander I was army. Uh, homosexual normally. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, but uh, the book I read about um, was saying that he had a, he had he would sleep with women, but he preferred men. Yeah, but well, my, ex, my, my was, statement was that his army had yeah. seeded its way. Oh, okay. Through. What about well, Genghis Khan and Attila the Hun? They seeded everything. What are you kidding? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, you know, you know so that's so. probably why we're all a bit, um, bit of everything. We should get a DNA test done to see what we are. I'm afraid I'll just come to come back lizard person and alien. So I don't want you do just it. do it. It's it's crazy interesting. I mean, yeah. Because you, yeah. then, then but I did it. Once you've the, done it, of course, you can. St all your data will be sold to some insurance company somewhere, so don't worry about it. Well, they say then you they um, say it in the contract and everything that they're not going to do that. Yeah, yeah but you can hacked. you can ask you can ask for, to make them a, a, a kind of medical test for you also, but you have to pay more. Yeah. But what they do also is that they kind of um, show you. Also, um, uh, other people who have made tests and they are close to you, related somehow, and they say how long is the DNA because oh, they wow. measure it somehow with the, how long right. it is and something like that. And how I have a, a cousin, yeah. a second cousin, who right. did also the test, and I found him, of course, but he wasn't the first. Uh, there were okay. like three people closer to second. me, which I didn't yeah. know, and they had the, the, done the test. I, yeah. I didn't know them. I, I don't, and I look at it this way. If I haven't met you and I, I've been around this long and you're related to me, then I'm probably not meeting you. We're good. Like, if we, you are all related. Come, we are all if, brothers, if, Stephen. Well, yeah, but if you want to go back to the beginning. From the same, of, right. If you go back we came to the came from the same animal, from the same cell, actually. We yeah, have all we come came from, from the same we came cell. From, we, listen, we came from whatever little green guy does this as a science experiment. Or, or from the Big Bang. I mean, we're brothers no with any bang. kind of aliens or anything. Flat. There's no Big Bang. No, well, oh, well, my well, God, well, please. No, no, no. Somebody must have had a good bang to start it all off. Well, there you go. Well, if you believe in the universal theory now, which they say the universe just keeps rotating and basically this just keeps happening and happening and happening. So the Big Bang can't be because you can't no, be nothing. No, that doesn't exclude Big Bang. It can be Big Bang and again and Big Bang and again and yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. I don't believe, I don't uh, I have a problem Penrose with Big Bang. is, is saying, uh, Penrose has, well, has uh, been awarded with the Nobel Prize. Yeah, I have a problem He's with British, Big Bang. British, British scientist. He's a very yeah. nice guy.
And, to, and, and my whole thing, I keep saying this, and I know people think I'm an idiot, but I do read a lot, and I do talk to people with, like, really high IQs. Well, you can, you can be a well-read idiot, Stephen. It's that's true. Well, that's, I, you know, and I read those Archie comics religiously. But yeah. I, it's just, we weren't there. And every day they find something new in the cosmos that disproves yeah, something theory. else. I read that this morning. That proved that. Yeah, no. yeah, so, yeah because we will new. never find the truth, you know, not not with this kind of mind. This no, is, I think we will, we but I think when you die, apes. you find the truth. I think when yeah. you well, we you found, you found the truth on this show, which is yeah. that if you, you have oh, we know the complete... truth. We will reveal it. We we do reveal it yeah. slow slowly, step by yeah. step. So if people want to. To really know the truth, they have to connect the dogs that we are saying this. In each episode, we give you the we truth. are saying something that is really, really true, yeah. which is really yeah. hard to say because actually, uh, according to, to Kant, we, we have no access to truth. And, but according to Schopenhauer, we have only one chance, and it's yourself, if you dive in into yourself. Yeah, I agree with But that. it's very hard. Sometimes the harder thing is to see, you know, something that is right Right in front of your face. You know, yeah. 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 Which, it, which well, is, this is a truth. Which, which these days, is, of course, is a banana and some gaffer tape. So, um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. you, you know something? Yeah. If, it, if it were not about the six million or, uh, you know, the price, we're not be talking about it. We talk about Actually, it because it's about money. Yeah, because uh, it's uh, five bucks. We're in, in a material no, in society. Well, yeah. but, okay, so look, uh, because uh, you said something which I thought, you know, sound like. Art slight, it's still slightly elitist that you can't do this and you can't do that because it's not art. So here's here's a question: Can I go now with my duct tape to my to my supermarket and pick up all the bananas and stick them on the wall? Would that is that art? Is that vandalism? It's are you, you buying them? Or art or are you doing it? No, I'm just doing it. Well, I haven't bought oh, that's it. vandalism. Else that's vandalism. That's right. If you buy them, no, and do it, no, fine. it's not. I mean, what what Banksy is doing is band vandalism because he's going somewhere and he's painting, you know, with the stencils it's and stuff. It's those just, people, it's just very pretty it's vandalism. You know, those people love when he does that because one guy I read an article once that said his he was like his little store was like worth nothing, and the minute Banksy painted on the side of his wall, people were offering millions of dollars to take the wall down. Um, yeah. So they can own a piece of Banksy, and he finally sold it for like ten million pounds or something. And he goes, "That's more than like egg. so." Yeah, so that's what this house was worth. Yeah, yeah, there's vandalism, and then there's like you, know, you just increase the if value. If you call it, if property. you call it art, and you have a theory behind it, you know, a story, a narrative about it, it's art. Yeah. I now, like is Banksy. it good art? That's why we have academies of fine art. We don't say oh, academy please. of art. No, no, it's oh, fine yeah. art. That, that, yeah, what's just, what's the fine in a, the thing? That's pretentious. Yeah, it's just a cl yeah, club of people stuck with their heads stuck up. No, it's houses. not pretentious because look, sometimes when I'm talking with people and say, "What is art? It's not art," and stuff. Yeah. This is yeah, this is no, it's been done. That's, this, that's this, a, this talking that's elitist. Is, that's elitist. What's art and what's not? I'm I'm quite shocked for you that you even consider, even question what could be art. Uh, but there is there is no there is no uh, you know definition of art. We have to we have to start. Why I am always asking, or not always, but many times when we have a topic, what's the definition of something? Because the definition right. it defines something. So yeah, sometimes you, we're talking about you, God, and atheists are saying, right. uh, "Give me a proof of God." Well, I don't have to right. give you any proof of God because you are living into it. You're living in in divine thing that was created by God, whatever I mean, God yeah. is, whatever right. God is, and you are a divine. I mean, did you create yourself or did you come from I did. nothing? I created myself, actually. I did. Yeah. Well, I, okay. I was a twinkle. I was a twinkle in my father. You're already an artist. You say I am an art. I am the artist and an artwork right. at the same time. I created right. myself. But this is okay. what also the. Uh, um, the Asian, for example, the uh, the Asian uh, religion is saying that Brahman was create created himself from. Right, right. So, so uh, only God can make you know uh, can do it. Uh, I mean, but but, but the God but thing is, is. Let's roll back. How do we get from from art to art to God? Because you know, I say with you. Well, God what, is an artist, isn't I, he? he? If I say if I say it's art, how many how many elitist organizations? Do I need, and how many blue chips do I have to, you know, own to? If I say this is art, that it becomes art. At what point, you know, is that a collective decision? Is that everybody being very? Oh yeah, it must be because he said so. You know, like uh, 
the FOMO. Look, uh, we, okay, I'll tell you my is opinion. Art a pro, you know, is art just a product of, of FOMO, really? Yeah, too. When it, when it comes to money. Hmm? That it, when there were NFT and there was uh, rising up, right. there was a lot of FOMO not to lose the money. And of course, some didn't because they, were, they knew that it wouldn't last forever. It lasted for one year or something like that. But, right. uh, but it, it, it is on the same base like everything now. It's based on the show off, on fakeness, on uh, something that I call that it is good. You know, we need the definitions, guys. I mean, you like this artwork, it's okay. Whatever kind of shit, if it's artist poop. You know, and it happened in 1960s. So it's not crazy anymore to have a banana with a type when somebody did 90 cans of artist shit. Yeah. I mean, and those things are happening for a hundred of years. I There's like nothing something new, I can look actually. at and enjoy. I think but shit it's, in a can it's about is not the, art. How, how viral it becomes, how popular. Because if you're popular, why all those guys, and the young guys, they want to become popular on TikTok? Because yeah, you can later. earn money easily oh, okay. with that. When you become famous somehow with whatever right. shit you do. For example... I didn't know because I don't watch too much of uh, YouTube or I watch specific things. There's this guy, Mr. Beast. Yeah. yeah you yeah. heard about it. He's Everybody's got millions and him. millions and, and he's doing he some crazy he stuff. He has, a, he has 110 million something followers. He's the yeah, largest that's, person that's on YouTube. large. Internet. Yeah. But he's also been doing it since he's 13 years old, which is like 15 years ago. When YouTube just started, he started. So he's been doing it since YouTube day one, and he was thirteen. Yeah, so so there's a lot already, to be said. He was already he was already on the on the wave when it started. Which yeah. yeah. Also, people, the guy with the he's also a 3D artist. Like I met him before he became yeah. very famous. He started the thing that was called everyday art when I was opposed uh, uh, to this at that yeah. moment because I said, look, if I'm going to push myself just to do an artwork on a specific day and every mm -hmm. time for any reason to become better and everything yeah okay but i mean uh, i i don't think this way i'm not uh, it's 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 not about getting better or something like okay if you if you at least not now right right look now with the ai the skills are gone also uh, it's 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 not artists and uh, it's a living organism it's like society society now is not the society in the 60s we have talked about it mm -hmm. in our previous mm -hmm. shows it's, yeah. it's it's it has changed that means that also the view on the art which is the expression is the is the um let's call it kind of uh, representation of of what's going on in the society that's that's yeah. art so when you so, when you study uh, uh, history of art you learn about the 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 the, the, um, the, the communities and the societies of the time what mm -hmm. was going on not only wars and stuff like there were other things going on also in their everyday yeah. lives so, what they were it, was it okay to to uh, to uh, defecate into a can in the 1960s because that was that the, was that the time for it if we all went and did it today still be would that <laughs> If just no, no, look, in a can, it's, it's somebody a child, would buy it. It, it was a child of its time. Like uh, there were crazy things. Look in the uh, 1910 or something like that. A guy from Russia, Malevich, mm -hmm. uh, he came and he presented a black uh, rectangle in a white yeah. space, like right. paper or something. It's a, this artwork. But in the 1910s, that was really crazy. That was really uh, in front of in the future, like, uh, you know, creating the future and showing that, look, right. a rectangle, a simple rectangle can become an artwork. Uh, for me, this is more revolutionary than than all those uh, conceptual kind of arts, you know. Was because, there a French guy as well who, who, met, who had the urinal? Didn't he present that as well? The yeah, that was, uh, what was his name? So that was the that was, that was also well. conceptual. Uh, yeah. he, he signed it with a different more different name. That what what yeah. was his name? I'm very famous. Anyway, yeah, he was one of the first of absurdist and uh, conceptual artists. It's just to show. But look, at the time that they were doing this, we were talking about uh, 
uh, in between, I think, the First World War and the Second World War, because everything was shit, actually. You know? They didn't okay. have this kind of life that we have. They didn't know if they're going to leave next day. They didn't know if the war broke up. Or, you know, after the First World uh, which first, first World War, which was fucking war. I mean, I don't know like why this war ever happened, you know? Because, because what you call it, we play, we play land grab, like David just said, yeah. but that's our nature. Our nature is we want more instead of just saying, okay, we're good with our little country. So they were like, and it was Germany again, and Germany land grabbed again in World War II, and it didn't work. So I, you know. I, I was, I was, you know, I found out something yesterday, you know, talking with some guys about uh, Ukraine and Russia and stuff like sure. that, you know, and, yeah. and everything. And there are a lot of people here in Greece that are very pro-Russian and they're like one posted a supermarket in St. Petersburg and right. how everything, they're rich and everything is there and everything. And I say, look, uh, since you're sending this this uh, video, it, it, it means that you haven't been to Russia actually because, okay, St. Petersburg, just go out 20 kilometers outside and show me a village, a Russian village. Let's, uh, yeah. let's. And... There was something I found out at that moment. I I didn't. I wasn't really realized because they are really, really, you know, supporting the the, the way of living there. You know, it's uh, mm -hmm. look, they are quite rich. It's not that. Uh, you know, what's the uh, life expectancy for a male in Russia right now? In the war, you get, yeah. out of the war. Can you guess? Or if, or the, if you're a ballet dancer. So <laughs> no, no. Years old. If you're not a 67, ballet dancer, it's sixty-seven years old, Stephen. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. 67 years old and they are telling us i mean the the, the poor, poor greece has 80 years it's 13 years difference i mean guys this is huge yeah. this is huge they need like 50 years to come to the point to greece and they and have a big we are talking about a country the which the male live medium you know medium 67 mm -hmm. so some die at 50 like yeah. our cool. age have you seen some of those women now? Come on, that's fine. Well, they have it. They have to. What's it? One of the lowest uh, birth rates in the world. Yeah, the uh, Russians as well. That's going to be a big. Russian issue too. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They have Ooh, also. Putin has to have the North living, Koreans fight the his war. They got nobody else to uh, fight. Yeah. So well, so Greece yeah. is a big supporter. I just saw in the paper this morning, Romania, uh, Russian. The guy that's running for president, yeah, big right. Russian right winger, is uh, yeah. getting Bulgaria. taking the lead in Romania. So we're going back to we're going back to the 1930s. I don't know what people no, don't no, understand. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not. Fascists are coming, baby. No, they're no, already no, we're here, not. Stephen. No. Okay, I'm those are already uh, here, Stephen. Yeah. Everything, has nothing, everything nothing is fake. Order. The communists that they are saying they're communists, they are fake communists. Okay. The uh, at, uh, at, uh, until. Uh, up to what we knew, right? We, you can see the communists were, uh, for most of the time, they're talking about the fights of the classes, you know, the rich right. again, the poor and everything. I went to Athens and there is, you know, the Communist Party of Greece. They have a big mm -hmm. building and they have a big, like, a sign outside and they were saying that people can only be saved by people. I mean, the lower class. The lower class okay. can be saved by the lower class, etc. Okay. That was always, um, if you go and see what they have, they're rich people. There rich people there. I was well, looking like at the guy who has seven, house. 70 houses. Yeah, yeah. Mao, Mao, Mao Zedong was the last true communist, and Deng Xiaoping was a capitalist. And if it wasn't for Deng Xiaoping, yeah. China wouldn't be where China is today. And no one we argues that bit, point. There's a history of champ champagne socialism all the way across yeah. Europe. Yeah. Because, you know, what, what did Orwell say? Some people are equal, but, uh, well, some animals are equal, but uh, other animals are more equal than others. Yeah. Uh, that's so that's for me, it's all fake. It's, it's, yeah. it's the art fake now becoming uh, not everything, not everything. Right. I'm not just. Uh, it's what is going outside. It's it's a fakeness, or uh, that is the evolution of our society right now, and the fakeness becomes reality, right? right? Because after some time, when you say a lie to yourself so many times that you start right. to believe it, right? So say no, the duct tape is a real high art. I mean, which I don't. Disagree. I mean, it's okay. The guy is worth it because he has the he has the popularity for it. And he can do anything and shit money, right? Right. And uh, I did an I, artwork about that. Uh, I, I did I did two artwork. I, I want to make a, a series of them, like future covers of magazines. So I did two artworks, like for Forbes yeah, and yeah. for Time. 
And nice. then one, there was uh, the marriage between two robots, like two AIs. Okay. And the second one, that there was a mutation and the guy, uh, you know, after the mutation was shitting gold. And I was showing nice. this. Nice. Yeah, but there's the absurdity of, of the material world we're living in. And, and uh, we are living in this meaning crisis. Did you, because... did you send the artwork to the magazines or not? No, no, no. I just posted Oh, them. you should do. You should do. No. I post them on yeah. here. What the fans No, thing. no, no. I just, yeah. I do my artwork. I have a great time when I do it. It's like, oh. I'm, uh, you know. But you I'm, sell I'm, your art too. Like, let's not, like you're doing it also because you yeah, sell Yeah, I'm selling my artwork, but uh, look, I'm going, I'm, I'm doing okay. It's it's not it's not that I'm it, it's okay if I had more money and probably I will have I don't know I, I am I am trying to sell my works it's it's not but it's not my main priority you know my main priority yeah. is to, to to live deep you know every uh, every experience that I have it doesn't right. and I don't quite you know I'm crazy for experiences on your experience and everything I go to Athens from time to time I go to Poland from time to time some there but i live mainly in my village it's almost every day the same but i love this this kind of uh, every day you know it was like the film it was a, a nice film from Wim vendors i think it was called perfect days perfect days or something like this okay uh, about a japanese guy who was uh, showing his every day that he's actually cleaning you know the public toilets in tokyo okay that, that's the story. But if you see the story, it's a real beautiful story of a man who's living his every day. And I think we forget about that. We live in our uh, expectations, in our future, uh, you know, wanting to uh, seeing ourselves with money, with uh, lovers, with being popular or anything like that. And we forget to live the only thing that really exists. And this is now, if it really exists. But this did you see, did truth. you see the, the, the uncut version of that movie? No. Where he had where he had loads of cans and he was collecting all the poo and selling it out the back, you know, for lots of money. <laughs> but yeah, the artist or I'll clean it. I'll sell it. There you go. There you go. He didn't even get the real artist. But, um, he's dying. Um, he's dying. Fine. Quick, quick. Dying. The artwork's going up in value. The artwork's going up as we speak. Oh, yeah. he's back. Oh, he's alive. Oh, he's back. Oh, All right, he's alive. Oh, wow, well, so much. Yeah. It was exciting. He was about to sell your artwork, and then you came back, and you're alive now. Yeah, so we now thought, thought you dead. Thought you died on us. So uh, there you go. Nice. There you go. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. That's right. six. Feeling... Yeah. So, by the way, how's the fiance and everything? How's that? When's the wedding? Yeah, she she's fine. Uh, she's working, and uh, but she's soon she's going to Poland again. All right. For the Christmas and everything. And um, uh, pagan holiday, yeah. uh, celebrate the so pagan. You, holiday. So, you, you'll be on your own then. In, uh, I'm always with my dog. There, you yeah. guys like me, they always have my a dog. beauty. She's here yeah. and listening. My to our show. My we always have one viewer, which yeah. is there, but she's no, no, two. At Got view. mine, too. She's right under yeah. Oh, that's yeah, 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 that's yeah, our, that's our, that's my make believe friends always with me. He never, well, wow, that's just the only way you get lucky. So, yeah, yeah, no, no. You know what's really interesting? If you think about, you know, Jesus when he was born, if you believe that, that's the first time probably... Well, he was born. Had, he was born. You know, I don't think he was bored, I'm sure. That. But that's the first time someone probably said when he got all those gifts from the three wise men, that's the first time when he said, Jesus Christ, look what he got. So, I mean, I think that's the first time that was ever used, if you think about it. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah, let's think of this uh, I don't about. think it was at, at his time. This was created <laughs> later. I'm being smart ass. Yes, I'm aware. Was there was there English language of, of what kind of form at the time of Jesus? I doubt Hebrew. it. Ten thousand, twenty thousand years ago, right? Or whenever yeah. when she's supposedly born. Two thousand years ago. ago. Was well, what kind that. of form English language yeah. was? Screwed up English stuff uh, in Scotland. It wouldn't have been in English. Yeah, they would have been English language version of it. It would have been the the the, um, the Celtic that the uh, Irish still speak. That would have been the yeah. form. The English comes yeah. from this, from from the. No, no, the the English comes pro primarily from uh, uh, Saxony, Saxony, uh -huh. uh, Scandinavia, and with lots of French in it as well. It's like a mixture of the three. Saxony, Germany, yeah. Yeah, because they, the Saxons came um, with, and the Vikings, and they colonized most of uh, most of England. 
Okay. And the council right, got go. pushed the, into the here corner. Here we go, kids. The English language originated from the language languages of German, Germanic tribes who invaded Britain in the fifth century CE. Um, you know Anglo Saxons and Jesuits, just exactly Anglo Saxon and Jesuits. The tribes crossed the North Sea from that into Denmark and northern Nazi. I mean northern Germany. Their language is called in Inlistic. I don't know which is the original word for England and English. Um, and in the 8th and 9th century, the Vikings conquered and colonized part of Britain, who influenced the development of Old English to lead to the lexicon borrowed to the grammatical uh, simplification. So there you yeah. go, kids. That's where and all so, and so English... So norm, normal but people... But this means uh, before English? Christ or after? Um, um, no, this would be after, because this was uh, CE, after. so it's 5th uh, century. That's five fifth century, so that's 1,500 years ago. So 5th, 6th, 7th century, a lot of um, moving was going on in Europe, because also yeah, I was reading about the Slavs in the, like the Bulgarians, for example, or uh, right. Yugoslavians and stuff, those Slavs, they came at that time also. Yeah. So there was a lot of movement of people, maybe there was something yeah. going on at that time. Yeah, it was called uh, I mean, uh, the maybe, dying here. Let's go somewhere else. Maybe climate something. Maybe, maybe no, climate change. Just just opportunity, I think, and overpopulation. And uh, yeah, so you know, when you go from ten people to when you go from yeah. ten to fifty people in your little village, it's like that's it. There's too many people. We're getting out of here. Guys, that's we've stuff, reached Martha. twelve people. That's already enough. We need to yeah. clean some of you and throw away some of you. Yeah. Go to oh, England. Yeah. <laughs> or go to Greece to, to, to go try the race. Oh, yeah. Go and make some Adams there over there in the future. It's a, it's very interesting the history of the world because I'm sure what it we is. what we think we know we don't, and most of it's we I think know nothing, know. Stephen. We just pretend we know, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. The only thing we do know is that UFOs are real, according to the United States Congress. They had a hearing last ah, week. Still, we don't UFOs. know. Have you seen them? I mean, no, they have pictures. They have aliens that they've, they've captured. No, no, no. Uh, Stephen, if there were really, there, if there were really aliens here, yeah. we everybody would, would have a kind of shit uh, of its own here, because so. where did they I, come from? What kind of technology yeah. do they have? Can they kill us all? You know, yeah, well, all this that's, stuff. That's they could kill us all. Just look at their technology that they use to outmaneuver everybody. But if you, let's look at it this way. Well, in I've been fifth, an alien. Well, I've been an alien for 40 in years. In, in in the the 50s, when the RAND report came out, it said it would be it would cause religions would crumble, governments would crumble. You can't tell that people that UFOs and aliens are real. Okay, 1950. Now we're in 2024, 2025. Everybody's got a phone with a camera, and people capture stuff all the time. And things are leaked all the time. So the world itself knows, let's just say they know they're real. And I hear, and I've said this before, and I stick with it. Um, and at the Illuminati Lizard People Party the other night, I said this as well. If an alien ship lands tomorrow or it hovers above the planet, 80% of the population is going to be like, I don't, they're going to be like this. That's great. That's all. Oh, that's nice. Uh, they're going to be in their phone. 20% is going to be like, that's I think they'll be all the toilets shitting from their fear. I, I think people don't oh, care yeah. anymore. I think they've seen so much of it. I think they don't care. At this point, uh, at the hearing, the guy said all they want to know is, as like the people from the Defense Department and the U.S. government, other governments, all they want to know is what's their capability and what's their intention. Are they friendly? Are they watching up? What are they? What? Because they, you certainly can't out. Uh, technology then they've got you know ships that go from the sea floor up into outer space in a second they've got stuff that stops on a dime and he said we have nothing that can compete that's why with i them. tell you that they would be very afraid if this was right true. but my point they shut down they they can launch nuclear weapons they can shut down nuclear weapons i have this book that's about the afic that talks about all this it's very interesting but my whole point is we all know they're real we all know they're out there. Yes, it'd be cool to hear where they come from, whether it's the future, whether it's a distant galaxy. I'm more interested in how do you bend time and space. I think it's, that's cool. At the end of the day, I don't think the RAND report of the 50s and 60s carries any more weight. I think if you pull people today and said, if we told you aliens are real tomorrow, what would that mean to you? And I would venture to guess 90% of the population out of the 8 billion would be not a damn thing because they don't care. It's yeah. not the 1950s. There's not a Cold War. Now, what it may do is create peace, and which would be nice. But the other thing the report said, and I have a friend who works at an agency that doesn't exist, said the same thing. The biggest fear 
of the governments and the church is that if I ask you today what you are, Adam, you're going to say you're Greek and whatever. David's going to say he's whatever. I'm going to say, you know, lizard people. Those but are stories. If, if, but, but, but if I, if I tell you now that there's other universes and galaxies and people blah, 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 out there, you're no longer a Greek, an American, or this, you become an earthling. And when you become an earthling, governments and religion can't control you. So that's the fear of why you can't tell the people. So let's well, just the, break down the, to what the, it really is. The, the biggest, the biggest issue that, uh, uh real because i'm not sure yet you know okay. i mean people saying something doesn't mean anything to me uh, whoever he is if it was obama or trump or something just show oh, me trump, I would believe. results oh, yeah. he says by uh, yeah. scientists that have made like uh, you have uh, now videos and something like in the age of ai it's silly to you know to believe anything in the internet right now not now the question that, that arises people. If they are real, like yeah. example, guys, we know that they are aliens. That means they have come from another planet. And the question right. is, have they come from our solar system or not? If they have not right. come from our solar system, there are a lot of things that can come to our mind. First of all, uh, if you understand how big the universe is, mm -hmm. that means they have technology that any kind of problem that we have here, any kind of problem that we face here, can they can solve it yeah. like that. Because it's much, much harder to make those distances in space to have the mm -hmm. technology to do that than to cure cancer or a longevity or um, uh, poverty or you mm -hmm. know uh, anything or psychological problems anything so it changes everything it changes everything we need their tech we need to co co communicate with them where are they Wh why are they like this why don't they come and make a direct contact Every Thursday, I mean, here at the house, show we up. we all hang out. We're all together. Come over. Come on over. We're here. Give us the technology. <laughs> yeah, you have to pay for it. I'm a solid oh, Jew. I mean, let's take Give me the technology so that I can, I can express myself as an artist in the best way so that, I don't know, I become a Well, I've got, blue I've got chip. some technology. I've got some technology that will enable you to do that. But Please. that's on next week's show. But before well, you do that, don't forget, to, don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. Thank you for exactly. watching. Adam will be back That's live thing. next Monday morning. Um, and for all the people in the United States, um, on Thursday, it's Thanksgiving. So we hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving oh, yeah. with your family. Yeah. Have a great time. Don't eat too much turkey yeah. and we'll watch too much football. And we'll see you all next week um, back here on 2OF Entertainment. Adam on the eve. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We are Bye out of here. Guys. That's that they all get stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> really, David? Yeah.